Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you the easiest and best way to root any Samsung device using Magisk and PC. And yes, this video might be a bit long, but trust me, it's packed with everything you need to root your Samsung device successfully. And I promise, if you stick me till the end, you will walk away with the rooted device and zero confusion. So let's get started. First, let me show you the current Android and one UI version on this Samsung Galaxy S23. As you can see, it's running on Android 14 with One UI 6.1. So the very first step to root any Samsung device is enable developer option. In the software information, look for the build number. Tap on the build number seven times until you see a message: "You are now a developer." So developer option is enabled. Go back, and here is our developer option. Open it. Now in the developer option, we need to enable two things. First is OEM unlock, another is USB debugging option. Guys, enabling OEM unlock is crucial as it allows to unlock the bootloader of any Samsung device. Next, enabling the USB debugging option uh, to connect your device with the PC. Once both options are enabled, we are ready to unlock the bootloader of our Samsung device. First, connect your device with the PC and press and hold the power button. Here, click on the restart from the menu. As soon as Samsung logo disappeared during the reboot, Simply press and hold both volume up and volume down button simultaneously. Once you are on the warning screen, here you need to press and hold volume up button to unlock the bootloader. Now, our device is now on the bootloader unlocking screen. Keep in mind that unlocking the bootloader will erase all the data on your phone. Now to continue, simply press the volume up button. This will unlock the bootloader and wipe all the data on your device. Once the process is finished, your device will reboot automatically. So let me fast forward this process here. Now that our device has been successfully booted up, uh, let's check if the bootloader is actually unlocked or not. So go ahead enable developer option again. And yes, the bootloader has been unlocked successfully. As you can see, the message confirmed that bootloader is already unlocked. We are now one step closer to root the Samsung device. So let's move on to the PC screen. The next step is to get the right firmware for your device. To do this, you need to copy the baseband version from the software information. Now open any browser on your PC and paste the baseband version into the search bar and adding a word firmware to the end of it, just like this. Now open the first website uh, which is SamFW usually. Uh, this website provides official Samsung firmware files. Once you are on the site, double check that the AP version matches the baseband version you copied earlier. This ensures you are downloading the correct firmware for your device. Once you double check that the AP version matches the baseband version, go ahead and download the firmware file. It might take a few minutes depending on your internet speed. I have already downloaded this file so I am going to cancel this. And guys, here is my uh, same firmware file which I downloaded earlier. Once you downloaded it, extract it. Next, these are the three more files you need to download uh, for this process. I will provide the downloading in the description below. Also, uh, before moving forward, make sure to install 7-zip to extract the firmware and install uh, Samsung drivers. Once all done, open the firmware folder. Inside, you will see multiple files. But for now, we need to focus on the AP and BL files. So right click on the AP file and extract it using the 7 zip. Uh, this might take a few moments so let it be happen. AP file is now extracted. Now let's do same for the BL file also. Now that both files are extracted, open the folder where the AP file was extracted. And here you will find a file named as boot underscore any dot image. Simply copy this file and paste it somewhere convenient. Next, open the folder where BL file was extracted and search for the file vbmeta.img. Once you find it, copy this file as well and paste in the same location where you copy boot init file. So here we have our two files, boot init and vbmeta. Now select both files and right click on them. And here uh, choose show more options and under 7-zip menu, click on add to archive. Here set the archive format to tar and give it any name you want. For now, I will just call it s23.tar. 
and there we go our tar file is successfully created it's time to transfer this file to the samsung device so go ahead and move it over file is now copied let's move to the phone screen let's open the file manager and check for the file and here it is our file that's from t3.tar it's time to patch this file using the magisk so i have installed the magisk app and root checker basic app on my phone before we proceed with the patching let me quickly show you my device is rooted or not so yes as you can see my device is not rooted yet so let's sort this now let's move on and patch the file with matches. So let's open matches app and here tap on install button. Next select the option select and patch a file. Now browse through the file manager and locate stm33.tar file which has transferred. Once you find it tap on it to select it. Magix now start patching this file and it might take few moments. The file has been successfully patched and saved to the download folder on the device. Let's quickly check this. So let's open file manager. And here it is. As we can see this is our magic patch file. Now that the file is patched. The next step is to boot the phone into the download mode. Just like we did earlier. Do the same restart the phone as soon as screen goes black. Press and hold volume up and volume down button simultaneously. But this time press the volume up button once. And device will boot into the download mode. So our device is successfully booted into the download mode. Let's head over to the PC screen. The first thing we will do here is copy the magic patch file from the device to the PC. So let me quickly do that. So the patched file is now copied to the PC. Let's move on to the next step. First open the folder where you extracted Ordin and run Ordin.exe file. Once Ordin is running you will see a message added in the log section. If your Samsung device is properly connected. Now let's add the necessary files to Ordin. Click on the BL button and select the BL file from the firmware folder. Uh, next click on the AP button and select the AP file from the firmware folder. And do the same for CP and CSC file, selecting the corresponding files from the firmware. Once all files are selected, finally it's time for the user data section. And this is where we need to select the magic patch file. Once all the files are added, double check that everything is in place. Ordin has start flashing files to the device. This process typically takes 8 to 10 minutes. The files now has been successfully flashed. As you can see the pass message in the Ordin. And the device is rebooted automatically. So wait for it to finally boot up. Our device is now booted up. You will notice that the Magix app is pre-installed. But when we open it, it is asking for an update. So let's uh, first download update and install the Magix app. So the Magisk app is updated to the latest version. Let's open it. As you can see Magisk is installed and version is 28. But it is asking for another update. Let's proceed with the update. Once the update is applied, the app will prompt us to restart the phone. The device is rebooted and I have also installed root checker basic app to verify our work. And yes, as you can see Magix is now fully updated and isn't prompting for another further updates. Everything is good to go. Now let's open the root checker basic app to confirm the root access. And boom, as you can see the device is successfully rooted. You can see a uh, message congratulation root access is properly installed on this device. Device is Samsung S911B and Android version is Android 14. So that's it for this video on how to root any Samsung smartphone using Magisk and a PC. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any question or facing any issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. This is Darwin signing off.